Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference may have looked and felt a little different this year, but that didn't mean the company didn't have plenty of announcements up their sleeve. We got our first official look at iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. It also previewed new Apple Watch features, Apple Silicon for Macs, and more. Here are the key highlights from WWDC 2020. iOS 14 brings the largest update to the home screen, along with improvements to apps, widgets, messages, and Siri. The home screen continues to be easier to customize, adding larger widgets and your favorite shortcuts. And in messages, you're now able to easily find your favorite contacts conversation by pinning those messages at the top of the app. Maps is adding cycling directions, which take into account things such as elevation and whether a street is busy. Privacy was a big topic this time too, with all apps now requiring to obtain user permission before tracking. Once implemented, App Store product pages will include privacy practices in an easy to understand format. Most notably, calls of any type will no longer take up your entire screen, but will instead pop up at the top of your device. After many years of rumor, Apple has finally confirmed it will begin transitioning from Intel chips to ARM-based chips from Apple, called Apple Silicon. Going forward, Apple's design across its operating systems, devices, and hardware will become more consistent. To complement the shift to ARM, Apple has already reworked its apps, such as Final Cut Pro, to be native, and it's partnering with developers to ready their apps, including Microsoft and Adobe Creative Cloud. Mac apps that aren't quite ready for Apple's chips will run on virtualization. Apple's Tim Cook says the transition will take two years. Mac OS's newest update, Big Sur, will include Apple's largest Safari update yet, along with enhancements to messages, maps, and privacy. Safari will now feature a customizable start page and a new privacy report. Messages were updated in Mac OS as well to flow seamlessly from your iPhone running iOS 14 to your Mac. Sticking with the theme of seamless integration, Maps was revamped in Big Sur to offer immersive features such as a 360-degree view from Look Around and an easy way to browse detailed images of major airports and shopping centers. Watch OS 7 is bringing a few more healthy lifestyle additions to its software. The update adds a sleep tracker that is built directly into the software. You will no longer need a third-party app to track your sleep. Watch OS 7 also brings a new hand washing timer that will use machine learning to identify when you're washing your hands and will begin a timer to encourage healthy, cleaner habits in light of COVID-19. Additional workouts will be added to the Activity app too, which has also been renamed Fitness. Lastly, AirPods will now intuitively connect and disconnect from one device to another as you're using them. For example, if you're watching a movie on your iPad and your iPhone receives a call, your AirPods will automatically disconnect from your iPad and connect to your iPhone. Meanwhile, Car Key is going to make the iPhone a digital car key. Digital car keys can even easily be shared using messages or disabled through iCloud if a device is lost. There were plenty of other upgrades and features that came from WWDC 2020. Be sure to stick with ZDNet for all of the latest Apple information and tech changes, and be sure to let us know in the comments what you think about this year's online-only event. Thanks for watching.